Alrighty, hello and welcome. I am Saber1, and this is a game called The Slaverian Trucker. Now what this game entails is you basically start off with a small little property, and uh, you get a truck, you pretty much deliver cargo and earn some money. Money is used to get uh, food and drinks as well as upgrade your truck. You can change tires, you can change a few things cosmetically to uh, your desire. You can swap engines, you can find engines, you can find spare tires, you can do all sorts of stuff around in the world. It is completely open and for you to explore. Um, the truck that you do start out with has a very weak engine, so it does take a little while to get from place to place, but uh, I believe there are some spare engines that are out in the wastes if we go explore enough. So in this uh, video, I will try to explain kind of the basics and how to get started and uh, what you should push for. Now this version is the latest, 0903 of 2023. So it does have all the most uh, updated stuff, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Alright, so this is our starter location. This is so far our little home. Hey, what the hell? Slow down, mother trucker. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... You mother bitch. Piss on the road, you stupid little... Anyway, oh, I'll just walk around with my dick out, I guess. So Belarsk is the uh, town that's closest, it's just down over there. We've got ourselves a little neighbor here, and this is our property. And to start off, with this update you can rent out your house, but you can no longer use stuff I think inside. So it is a nice option, 8500 per day isn't really a lot, but for some people uh, that could help them out. Now the nice thing about this game is uh, there is no real time limit on anything. There's a nice little shitter for you if you want to uh, incorporate some realism. Got a couple barrels here. These are empty. You can take them into town and whoever will buy them will uh, give you some money for them. It's not a lot but some of this stuff in the world looks like it's movable and uh, if you click on it it will move just like this pumpkin here. You can click on it, you can hold your middle mouse button and rotate it. I have it also set to zoom in. Yours may not do that. Um, so doors can be opened and shut. Just like so. At your place here you have a couple light switches. Nice at night. And of course the guys do give you some uh, stuff here to keep on you at times. Got a little Halloween pumpkin here. Now it says F, which I have changed to E, so some of my uh, key bindings are going to be a little different from yours. Do have a fridge here, you've got some meat, some drinks in here for you to take on your travels. Um, the tub is not used. You can turn the water on. Got a plate and a frying pan here, which do work. I'll get to that in a minute. We do have a cooking pot here. If you leave it in there, it will fill up eventually. This is the map of the place, and we are right here at Gurnisk, which is our home. And uh, Belarsk here is that little town I was talking about that we can uh, go check out. They have some jobs and stuff there. So just, and you can also stand up close to this and you can see that your fatigue, thirst, hunger bar over there. My thirst just went down. So you can turn the water off here and then we can throw this on the stove. Now right now I think with this current build you cannot make soup. There's some kind of bug that it does not cook. So I'll get to that maybe in a later video. And uh, right now there's no uh, power or nothing to this which is what this LPG is. So we're going to put that over and you'll see the little uh, icon. Click that, push E or F, whatever you have the activate on, and now we can cook. So I will make a separate video on cooking down the road. This one's just kind of to get a person 
acquainted with the things here. So we have a radio that we can throw in our truck. Got some binoculars. I think you push E or F. And then you push E or F again, and it'll give you a nice zoomed in look. And then it says on the left there to T to drop, so it'll drop that. This thing here, you push... Oh, no, you just hold it, and it'll show you what direction is what. I'm guessing the point there is north. Uh, we have some cigarettes, so we can push E or F on it. There we go. I pushed F this time, so it only works with default. And then you push T, and you can uh, inhale, which will give you the desired effect here. So far, it doesn't really do much for fatigue, so it's not really worth uh, doing, but if you're a smoker in real life and you wanted to uh, add that a little bit of immersion, you definitely could. I'm going to smoke the whole thing here, and then he'll get rid of it. All right, so that's the basics of the house here. We've got a bed that you can hold F or E, in my case, to sleep. It'll sleep, I think, seven hours. But because our fatigue is now low, we don't need it. So here's a note from our father. Dear son, I went to the north to find a cure for my illness. Therefore, I relinquish everything I own to you. Visit my neighbor Zoltan. He can then give you some advice. You should find some job at Jack's. Go past Belarsk and turn left. You'll find him. Best of luck. So on the bottom right, we have our money and the day with the time so it is 11 a.m. on a Monday Monday the 1st so it'd be January 1st of 1989 so we do have some nice little goodies here we've got a nice torch that you can push E or F on and it gives you a decent little light so if it is dark out our toolbox here is really good for taking things on and off so you would look at uh, your parts here and I would hit E tire falls off, the truck falls down because of physics. Click it again and there she goes. Perfect. Then we click E back on the toolbox. We can drop that down. So to uh, carry stuff on your inventory, you see the top left, we've got a backpack. If we hit K, that opens up our backpack. And now we can carry 10 items. So in this case, we would push, I think it's I. Yeah, I on the item will throw it in your backpack. And then you would just hit the according number and it'll pop out. So always keep a toolbox on you at all times. In my opinion, it is the best thing to do. So here's our truck. We're going to go over the basics. Clicking opens and shuts the, uh, the panels here. Make things a little easier. We are going to get our truck out here, and I'm going to do some basic, uh, I guess, tutorial stuff with it. But some people might, might not want to go through the tutorial, so they uh, click on a video, and here you are. Alright, going over the engine. So we have a oil um, thing, uh, what do you call it? I guess just a lid cap here that you can click on to open and shut. This is our engine. It, uh, it's not doing too well. As you can see, it's a rusty 6 liter, 105 horse, which isn't very much. It's a little V8. 65% is the motor um, damage, so if we want that to be 100% in case of like an overheating, which leads me to the radiator, which here has 4 liters of 10. So if this thing starts to get overheated or over RPM, uh, it will start to take damage so you have to be careful we got 55 percent and 65 so it's not too bad for the first little bit uh, same thing with the wheels and I think the suspension once it gets down to a fairly low number your vehicle will become a little bit more unstable so you got to be careful we also have a gas tank here which we have 22 liters of 150 so we do want to be careful not to run that out so now we hit enter, it does a weird animation, I don't know why he crouches, but I think that's just the way the guy designed it. So we've got a bunch of uh, knobs here that we can hit, just a regular click. We've got interior light, some things open up and shut, so you can put whatever you want in there. Over here we got the ignition, so we'll click once to turn it on and hold. And I've got a truck, revs out.
I am definitely going to turn the audio down just so we don't have something overpowering my uh, voice. So there's a couple of settings here. You can turn off all these dealios if you want, but keep it as default as possible. So yeah, we can open and shut our door. Uh, I think we can put our window down and up with the left and right mouse. All right, so there is, you can either use your mouse to do the handbrake or you can hit spacebar and the shifter is default some controls I'm not sure but I hook it up to R as up a gear and F as lower if you look on the left side right by the handle there above the fatigue you can see an H so now I'm in first second third fourth and fifth and the number below that is the speed you are going so we're gonna undo our brake there and we're gonna move and I can see the number going up and down if you hit C you will then exit the cab and get a overview which is very nice for backing up and checking around corners so right now we are just going to exit the cab here and I'm going to show you the parts adjuster <clears throat> box here so we've got a car part adjuster this is another thing I like to keep on my person at all times so now this is a little bit tricky so what we want to do with this is now we will look at the item we want to change and we will hit E or F now we can adjust the position now if you have a keyboard with the uh, numpad you will use your numpad to adjust things so your 7 will move the wheel forward and 1 will move it backwards there is no default so you have to really check your clicks and then you can adjust to the other side so 7 and 1 move back and forth uh, 4 and I think it's 6 move it in and out so as you can see it's changing the way the truck leans so everything is very dynamic so you have to be careful and it sometimes can uh, screw you over a little bit if you adjust it too much and then I think um, 8 and 2 will move it up and down so you can go ridiculous height if you really want to it gives you a lot of leniency to choose where you want things another asshole driving around with his blasted music so here we can move away from the vehicle as far as we want to get an idea of what we uh, want our truck to look like of course like I said it, it all changes the dynamics of the truck so you gotta be careful and then when we're done with that you just hit E or F on it again and uh, it'll go it'll uh, stay now the only thing you can adjust are the tires I don't know if you can adjust the suspension don't think so no it won't allow me where I can change the wheel here so we will put that in our inventory with I again if we open up the K we got K with the tool uh, the two tools so that's pretty basic um, the repair box now is another thing that's very crucial in the beginning anyway to get all your parts so we have five uses so right now I have my trusty little um, spanner wrench whatever you want to call it and the thing we're gonna fix is the engine now I think it's 20% every uh, use so we're gonna boost that up to 100 we're gonna boost that to 100 now we have one more use so what's our suspension and stuff like we got 70 88 70 70 69 got 70 on the wheel and 65 so I'm gonna use this on the back one now the back one is 100% and our toolbox is now gone so that is a small little detail now this you don't really need right off the hop because unless you know where the vehicles are that you can find and tow back home you won't need it but if you are exploring you can take this with you and hit I and put it in your backpack 
Now I don't need it because I'm not going to be doing anything with uh, the towing yet, so I will make a later video for that. All right, with all of that said and done, I'm just going to turn this bad boy off. We are going to take our radio, and we are going to put that in our truck here. Shut our hood. Carry this over, and there's a spot here for it. And it will jump in just like that. Go back to our kitchen. We do have a knife here. Now if you hit E or F, you will have it, and you can use it to attack animals, which are in the game. In certain areas, they will spawn, and they spawn all over the map. Certain areas, like hills and stuff, will have more of the ibex or deer. Um, some places will have hogs and wild dogs, so you do have to be very careful where you're exploring. There is an option in the settings to disable or put peaceful mode, so there is no animals that will harm you. Alright, um, so right now our thirst is 21. We don't need to really eat anything yet. Um, let's put our, let's put the knife on the table here again, and we will just carry that on our person, if it allow me. Oh, there we go. And these we will leave for now. We don't need any of this stuff, really. Well, I guess I could do a quick show of, so if you either click it, hold it, and push E or F, you'll eat it. If you look at it, you will eat it as well. And for beer, you have to, you don't have to open the cap, but I like to just for realism here, and then you tip it back to drink, or else it won't drink any. Sometimes you have to move it around a little bit, and uh, your person will eat or drink it until it's done. And then we just huck it with uh, our right click, pick up with the left, which will just drop it. Right click, you can toss things. I do believe they will disappear over time. Uh, some places like the house here, I think there is a working trash bin. Yeah, so you drop it in there and it deletes, which is nice to have. Uh, the pumpkin here, I do believe you can eat that. Um, I think if we pull out our knife here. No, it's just you'll eat it. Okay, no big deal. Keep that on a person, close our backpack, and we'll take a little walk, or take a little drive to our neighbors here, and I think he has something for us. So now we'll hit enter, we're going to shut our door here, get our truck in order, head down the road. Now if we look over at an RPMs with this motor, I think we can get it up to about 8,000 before it starts to over rev. So you don't want to over rev this uh, little place here, or RPMs. So our buddy here has been talking to us before we got out. Ah, you are Pista's son, right? I knew your father. He was taller than your mother. What's your name, kid? Anyway, take this can of gas and buy a map at Belarsk's shop. You will need it and find some job at Jack's. So he's given us a nice little jerry can here. Open the top. Open that. So it kind of has a little bit of realistic physics where you'll need to, to get it right in line and dump it in. Doesn't have to be perfect, but definitely a neat little feature here. And we'll just toss that in the back. Now there is a new physics system that will lock your stuff on your bed as soon as you start driving. Some things that are heavy aren't as like glued to it, but it is a nice change. So I'm going to hit my C and show myself where I'm going. So we're going to back up here and make sure there's no asshole driving. Alright, so this truck is a little bit slow. Especially with this uh, old rusty engine. Once you get to uh, the town there, 
we will definitely see if we can find some work or um, some things that we can buy and keep on our person. So at the bottom right, we have our SD. Here, I'm going to turn this down just a bit more. Pretty sure you guys don't really care for the engine noises and stuff. Um, so our money, we have a decent amount, which is good to start off with. I'm actually surprised they didn't make it only like a few thousand dollars or something there, but... Oh, and there's our first little bit of wildlife. See a little rabbit, which you can kill and cook, I do believe. Like I said, there is a cooking feature in the game, but it is, I think, a little bit bugged out. So I won't uh, go through that anytime soon. But right now, we are going to head over to Jax and see what he has for us. So I do find the physics are very touchy in this game, so you feel like your truck's doing a lot of rolling back and forth. But it also has to do with your uh, suspension and stuff too, like I said before, so keep everything tip-top and 100% you should have a better ride. Now I'm not too sure as far as if the tires wear down are they gonna make grip even less. I'm not 100% sure that's something I haven't tested out yet but so this is our little town here of Belarsk. There are some uh, federales there so if you are I don't think speeding has any effect on uh, on them so I think you're good there you can drive as fast as you want but uh, there's they're there for other reasons and we'll get into that probably in a later video so as you can see we're to the floor the truck barely wants to to get moving here we're only at about 48 I'm not sure if that's kilometers or miles but it does say on the dash here it's in kilometers per hour, so this game definitely not an American developer. Hence why it would probably be called the American Trucker. <laughs> but our radio here does have some cool jams if you find the right station. So I'm just using my scroll wheel. There's quite a few huh, before I go off road. Let's make sure we pull over here. I think this is the right place. Yeah, that's Jack Services, so that's sweet. Just kind of get my gear right and we'll back in here. Alright, park her up. So, yeah, we're gonna see if we can find a station here. Oh, there's one. Yeah, some nice, nice jams. I don't know if this is uh, DMCA music. I don't think it would be, but you never know nowadays. Everything gets cancelled. But you can hear it outside of your truck, which is actually pretty nice. So we'll go see what uh, Jack here has to say. Aren't you piece of sun? He talked about you. Anyway, choose a delivery contract from the billboard. I suggest Misha's finest in Klovy. It's pretty close. The packages are inside the barn. Open up the door, you will see it. Buy now. So these big bay doors open up. I think you can open that one too, but it is not uh, needed at this point. So a lot of people, this is a pretty big tip. They will choose one of these. So you have 20 boxes of goods for 25,000, 28 for 31. 35, 27, and all this stuff. So Lup Lupova is way down to the bottom right of the map. Klovi is really close. Magyarfalu is a little bit further away. Lupova and Strilikin is really far away. So we would probably want to do this one. Misha's Finest is nice and close. But before we click on that, all the boxes are going to fall from the, the roof here and just keep piling up so if you're smart like me and didn't find out the hard way 
or I did find out the hard way that backing up the vehicle to, into this bay is actually a little bit smarter because you get some of the boxes inside to fall. So we're going to back up here. I think our truck will fit just fine. Then we'll park it up. See if I can get out. Uh, maybe I should move up just a bit. Went a little far. All right, should be good there. I always try and keep it in neutral because sometimes the uh, the motor likes to rev up a little bit when it's in gear, and then it'll stall out and cause a cause a bit of a, a pain in the butt. But so now we're gonna push E or F on the job there, or do I click? Okay, I click. So now all these things are gonna just start popping up. We're gonna jump. And now normally if your truck wasn't in here, you'd have to put all these boxes in here and having 30 or whatever is quite a few. So just skipping a little bit of a, a headache here and we're just going to put all these somewhat in the middle. Now you can hit control to lower your body. Space bar is to jump. The longer you hold it, the further up you'll jump. Just going to make sure that these things don't uh, fall over. It's kind of a difficult thing to get around with, but make sure these don't fall out. Some people will be super OCD with this and try and get them perfect, but it doesn't really matter too much with the new uh, physics system as they'll lock in the, the back here for us, which is a really nice feature. So yeah, we're going to drive out of here. Oh, there's a couple boxes still out on the ground. Make sure we don't leave them behind. Should be able to just toss them in there. Alright, we should be good. We can leave his door. He can deal with that. Shut our door here, and we're going to head out. Make sure all of our stuff stays in the back. Probably just drive third person for this little bit. Now, in Balarsk, there is a uh, building supplies store, but I think we'll get into that uh, in the next episode. I will deliver this, and we'll probably just cut to the end where we deliver it, just to keep the video short. It's already 28 minutes, so... I will cut to that and we will get to that part in a second. Alrighty, so we have made it to Kalavi, Kalovi, whatever it is. Now the Misha's bar, I'm guessing, is this place here. So we're just going to lower our gears and do a bit of a U-turn here. There we go, we got some street lights on now that it's 21 o'clock. Let's see. Eastern Essence. No, that's not the place. Alright, let's uh, see what's for town here. What is this one? Misha's Finest. Okay, so this is the right place. I think we have a door here. Which is where we're going to be throwing these parcels. So we're going to back up nice and close. Throw in our handbrake. Got some beats rocking. Make it a little nicer to do our job here. I'm going to jump up into our box, open the door here, and as you can see, there's this little square, so if you bring any uh, pieces of whatever, whatever you have to deliver, as long as you get it in there, you'll get your money. So 
just take a lot of these and pass them over. I could probably just jump in the box and whip them. Some of them might not reach. Just got to get good. So yeah, as you can see, we will just do this until we have everything in there. And then I think we're slowly adding up our money, which is good. It should equal out to the 31,000 or something. Almost done. Mouse is a little bit faster than normal just because everything got reset with the, uh, the new game settings. There we go. That's all of them. Perfect. So now we've got 92,560. It's pretty good for our first little first day of uh, exploring here. So yeah, that'll be it for this episode or this uh, kind of quick tutorial. I will do a probably pretty big series. See how well these first few videos do, and if there's uh, good comments and. Uh, good amount of likes I will continue the series and if you guys are interested uh, in watching how everything else is played out do uh, do join in back on the next uh, video here so I'm Saber1 and hopefully you guys enjoyed I will see you in the next one bye for now